and make this video for you about the granny square bag so this is just an indication of what you can make again as we've said before when you come to making granny squares you can make them as big or as small as you like so in this case you can go for all of these rows or you can make it smaller and it will determine the size of your make so for instance the bag it will determine the size of the bag so this bag is roughly about if i can measure it like that it's about 12 inches long that way so roughly about what that would that be yeah it's about like yeah about 30 centimeters 35 30 centimeters maybe um and again we have the blueprint to show you how many squares you can use um and when you come to granny square on the go or you need to work out which verticals, which lines you're doing. So if you choose to go in this direction, you need to follow that direction. Um, so for instance, on here, I think it's slightly different here because to close the bag up, I had to then double crochet them together. So it's not granny square completely. Just to strengthen those areas, um, I have done it that way, purely because it's going to be a lot of weight if it's a bag. So to make sure that it's... <coughs> firm and has structure I have placed that there like so so you can see there we go you can see it there um in regards to colour I've kept it quite simple I've took these from my stash and I've just tried to keep things that are kind of give it vibrancy it looks much more redder on here but this is actually more of a coral um so it's kind of like a nice beachy kind of sunset kind of colour colour way so I've kind of based it on that generally I would say rule of thumb if you want to keep things pleasing to the eye stick to odd numbers of colours three five um and try and keep them like warm and cold colour palettes but for me I like a cold palette and a warm palette and I like to mix that together if I stick in a kind of subtle tone I try to keep those cooler colours in a similar tone value um in that way so it's not too harsh but I do like to throw a accent into the colourway such as the coral because I just think it just makes everything pop a little bit more it's kind of like it makes the, the brain go oh that's pretty um so you can see there's the different colours there um in regards to the handles I will do another video on this um you can work in the turn and just work your, your um stitches in that way but I will create a pattern for this um so you can just work on the turn so you just work around so you could make this first and then attach if you wanted to and then just sew it in here which would probably be the easier route um but this was just another form of you know me trying something out and practicing again there's a couple of bits that i'm not too particularly keen on like where it comes in and it just you know doesn't sit well um in these areas here um purely because of the border that i went around it um I would say personally if you do create your own board and you want to kind of have a go a stab it in the dark yourself stick to half treble stick to a close down stitch to give it that structure so it has it can take some weight because that has a lot of stretch and you might not want it to have that amount of stretch so that's another video to be done um, for those who want to do something more complex or would like to see something a little bit more complex this is based on the blueprint that I added in again this is a similar blueprint to the one that I've just shown you, but the squares are a lot bigger and you can see it takes up a lot more space. Um, so again, your squares will determine how big your bag is. So there's a few more complex um, granny squares in this one, which comes from my level two. Um, excuse all the weaving in, it's another job yet to be done. I literally have a basket full of these, but because I do so many different designs, I get a bit weighed over sometimes. Yeah catches up on me so i keep the more um, detailed granny squares for the top purely because they're not going to have anything weighing on them and the more boring or the more structured squares shall i say because i did enjoy doing those to be fair um i keep at the bottom now instead of using a granny square on the go you can see that i've combined the idea of a closed <coughs> excuse me <coughs> closed granny square um, to give it a little bit more structure and I've also double crocheted these together and then come back on it to give it a little bit more of a 3D element.
So in other words, I've double crocheted in and then the double crochet that stands proud, I've double crocheted again across. So you can see how you need to keep, you need to choose those verticals or those, those lines. So once you choose them, that means then when you go over them, it will look much neater. Let's see if I can show you on this one. So you can see here, look how I've gone in one direction first and then I've finished going and then I've gone over, then across and then gone over. Um, and the same on the other side. So it's much easier then for you to follow those lines. Like, um, But what you can do as a tip, let me just go back to the other bag. Use your blueprint, print it out and create a colourway. Get yourself some stitch markers that are coloured like this. You can get these off eBay, they're really cheap. Um, and then choose the granny squares that need to be attached to each other. And then you can just use the same colours, like so. And then you'll know which ones to attach and where they go and what's next. Okay, so you can do that. So that's just an idea to give you, an, so you can kind of work. You know, so you can see that I've got those coloured, those coloured and those coloured. So that's a, neat, that's a tip to use if it gets too complex, especially if you've got young children or you're busy or you're forgetful because you're very stressed for whatever reason. You can use that as a method of making sure you don't forget. And again, don't forget to print out your blueprints and then you can then formul formulate a plan. So that's all that part. Um, and I will show you the next stage in the uh, doing the handles.